now that you've got your slip made and you've burnished your clay, you are ready to start painting on this with your slip. So you're going to need your slip, your clay, and a paintbrush. Oh, lucky you, there are two very nice, fine paintbrushes in your art kit. So make sure that you pick these up. If you're in school, then you can just ask for one. Slip painting looks like this. All right, so you are masking off the shiny areas to create your design. You're doing that masking with the slip. So let me show you how to do it. It's fun and it's cool, but first, a few reminders. Remember way back when, when we were thinking about our designs for slip painting and I asked you to have one object or image or symbol that represents you or relates to you personally and then to repeat that but then also to have two repeated lines or basic shapes or two other personal images remember this it's kind of a while ago you are now if you haven't already done so going to pick one of your designs to paint on your piece so if you haven't already picked a design you might want to sketch something out because once it's on your clay piece it's not coming off so you don't want to make the mistakes on your clay piece you want to make the mistakes on a piece of paper you ready no why you nervous Something that you can do to kind of combat those nerves are draw on it with pencil. Now, you can't erase, so whatever you do, it's kind of stuck on there. But if you're a little nervous, as long as you don't scratch it, these lines will go away. So I can see it, but you can't see it, and that's the point. You want to be able to, if you have to, rub this away or just let it burn off. So that helps, although it will slow you down significantly. Okay, now you should be ready. We've got our slip, it's mixed up. I've got all the clumpy things pushed off to the side. FYI, thicker slip goes faster. You don't have to put as many coats, but also can be rougher on the surface of your clay. Thinner slip, will be smoother, but you will have to put more layers on. So craftsmanship versus time management. You know, you have to find that happy balance. So to slip paint, you're just going to pick up some of your paint that's made out of clay and water with your paintbrush and then dab it on where you want it. Now I'm doing um, some flowers, so I'm gonna pull some stems down to the bottom. Talking about the bottom, make sure that your name is carved into the bottom and the year. So I'm making flowers, so I'm just adding some lines on here, just some straight vertical lines. And I'm going over it more than once to make sure that I build up enough slip to mask the shine. So then I'm gonna go around and add more lines, making sure I build up enough slip to mask the lines or the shine with my lines. All the way around your piece, you're going to want whatever pattern you are using. Don't just stick it on one side. Make sure that it encompasses the whole thing. I can go back over and add more detail here. So I'm going to add some dots going around. As long as it blocks out the shine underneath the slip, then your slip will do its job after it's fired or while it's being fired. So if you still see shiny areas where you put slip, then you'll want to go back through and make sure that you add more slip onto that area. It may cause a slight raised section on your piece, depending on how thick your slip is. Be careful at this point because you have spent so much time burnishing your piece. 
if you scratch it, those scratches will stay. You are adding a basket to the top, but your basket is not going to start where your holes are. Your basket will start above your holes. So part of this top area is going to be covered, but not the entirety. So remember that as you are adding your design onto it, if you add your design all the way to the top, some of it might be hidden. So just work along steadily, adding your design to your clay. You should be able to see the difference from where the slip is and where the slip isn't by going through, catching a highlight, and then moving that highlight across a slipped section. If the slipped section catches the highlight, then it's not complete. If it hides the highlight, then it is solid and will be fine when you are firing this. You might have to go over some areas more than once. Don't just assume that one coat is enough. That's slip painting. Go all the way around your piece and add your pattern. Make sure that your name is on the bottom. Then you are going to take a picture of your piece from what you consider the front, what you consider the side, and what you consider the back. Make sure I get those pictures following the instructions in the assignment.